Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and I am back with part two of this huge um, mystery consignment that was sent in by a viewer. Now this um, particular viewer is just, the, her hobby is going to Goodwill and, and buying jewelry and getting the mystery bags. Um, and she has um, taken very good care of everything that she's found. Um, and so far, I mean, there have been a lot of really, really nice and interesting vintage pieces. So I'm super excited to get back into it. Now, hers was a very, very large consignment. So some of it was opened um, privately, uh, just with me. Um, and then I'm doing some of it here. So everything here, everything was a true mystery, but everything here, especially that we're about to see is, you know, exactly how it was found. Um, when it was sent to me. And sometimes with the larger consignments, I have to condense the videos down a little bit um, just to, you know, get through them. Um, so I imagine that I will do this and then maybe um, one or two more videos and then this one will be ready for auction. I kind of like to post the, the pieces when they're coming up for auction. So let's get right into it. If anyone is interested in consigning their jewelry with me, please reach out. My contact information is linked in the description box. Just shoot me an email and we'll go from there. If you see something that you like in this video, I do not sell directly on YouTube right now. If you see something that you like, you're gonna have to keep your eye on my auction. Um, usually when you see a piece within a day or two, it is in auction. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes it doesn't work out, you know, exactly how I would like it to. Um, but always keep your eye on my auction if there's something, you know, in particular that you want. Um, you can always email and ask me. Um, I may not, um, it, it might have already sold by the time I get your message. But um, anyway, thank you for being here. Um, if you're new here, we do jewelry unboxings of the mystery variety. Typically, I don't see um, anything before it gets here. Um, and um, I get... Um, consignments sent in from viewers here on YouTube. Plus I buy my own mystery consignments from various places and I have an auction that I run full time in Houston. So let's get started. So you can kind of see what I've done. Anything that was kind of wrapped up, um, like let me move it over a little bit. So anything that was kind of wrapped like that, I didn't look at. The only things that I looked at were the things that were like in big bulk bags that I knew were, were um, um, you know, were pieces that would go into like a, a group lot. So anything that was kind of wrapped up like this, I, I left that to do on camera. And she took very good care of this stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, interesting from the back. Oh, those are pretty little stones. I'm not sure if they would be uranium. I don't think that this is old enough to have uranium glass, but that is a really pretty brooch. <coughs> okay. These are interesting, some sort of, oh no, that's glass or ceramic, Lord. That, I think that's glass. And so it's on, like hand strung. I think that's glass. Oh yeah, that's glass. Those are very cool. So probably like an artisan made piece that has been hand strung. That's very cool. Cool, cool. Too cool, that's cool. Okay. Oh, she came out. Oh, there's the back. That's like a Florida de lay. Very pretty. This is not Juliana. There's no pen stop. There's no figure eights. Ooh, but it's gorgeous and definitely very vintage. That's a keeper. It's a keeper for sure. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty. A little brassy tone with faux pearl. Kind of looks like a Florenza, but it's not signed. It's okay. She spent a lot of time packing this stuff really, really well. All right, we have the sculpted rose. Unsigned, that's like a, a, a satiny, like enamel. This is Gorge. Oh, it's JJ. Hmm, I wasn't expecting that. Really nice textured gold tone. That's kind of cool. Another pretty gold tone pen. More modern, but very pretty and in very good, clean condition. More Fleur de Lay. Cute little pen. It's kind of giving me vibes that it could be silver, maybe. I don't know. I, hmm, I'm going to set this aside just to test and make sure that um, that's not sterling. This camera can be very deceiving. All right, we have another one of these silver tone. We've seen a couple of these, and I think these would come with little different, um, like, charms to hang from them. Okay, tape, come on. That's pretty. Ooh, look at that construction. At first I was gonna say this isn't old, but I definitely think that it is old. Yeah, see how far that pen sticks out? So these are not, these are yellowed because of their foil backs. That's very cool. I wouldn't really call this Japan, but Maybe Dana, help. Maybe tungsten, I don't know. That's a cool vintage brooch. Very old, actually. This customer, this viewer, and now my customer too, she is such a doll. She has packed everything so nice. All of the sterling chains that normally get tangled, she like carefully rolled them up in saran wrap. It's the most brilliant idea ever and made it so easy. There are probably 200 pieces of silver that I've already, um, that were, you know, out and labeled as such. So, and they needed to be cleaned. So I already did that process. Um, so you'll get to see those items in the auction, but it, it, it was almost an entire day of cleaning, but I loved every minute of it. So this is by Ruby Red, and these are glass stones. Very pretty. Yeah, I'll be excited for you guys to see all of the silver. It is a lot, and I do mean a lot. And it looks like I'm about to have more. So by the time um, her jewelry hits the auction, and not just her, anybody, if I have something listed in my auction as sterling silver, then that means it is tested and verified um, with an acid test. Just because something is stamped 925 does not mean that it is 925. So we really take extra care to test everything, make sure it is what it says it is, and so buy with confidence. So these are three really nice rings, all sterling, I can tell by looking. Very pretty. Ooh, this one's old. Look at that. That's an oldie there. And good stones, too. It's 925. We have like a blue cat's eye. And then some lapis and mother of pearl. These are really good rings. Look at that. 
Now I tell you, this lady, she's lucky. She's had some dang good luck at Goodwill. I mean, like really good luck. She's found some beauties. That's gorgeous. Mm. Rings, rings, rings. Got smoky quartz or smoky topaz. I'll test it and see. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Now here, more rings. These ones are fancy. That's sterling with gold vermeil. Very glitzy. Those are probably CZs or tourmalines. Well, that's a good mark for sure. That's R. You see that R? That's Ross Simon. That's a good mark. Also, Ross Simon. So I can confidently say those are all sterling. Hmm. So this is like a black, almost filigree style, but it's it's metal. Some kind of 10 bracelet. And then we've got this black. Looks like. This is broke, maybe, or just got twisted, yeah. Um, not seeing a signature here, but this is nice and clean. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is... I'm so excited to see the front of this, but we have to look at the back first. This is beautiful. I don't know who it's by yet. I know you all are screaming, turn it over. I like to look at the back first. The back kind of reminds me of um, Pome, but I might be wrong. Oh my God. Gosh, look at that. This is so heavy. I mean, I wish you guys could feel through the camera. I know you can't, but um, I wish you could feel and in perfect shape, perfect vintage shape. Those are little glass pieces and they probably glow. This is a good, 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 good piece. I don't know if it's Sel Rosalini homemade it might be you know someone else that I haven't even thought of and it's got its safety chain look at that this is going to be a nice high dollar piece I can tell you that right now <clears throat> I love these little envelopes I need this size I ship small stuff all the time and my standard mailers that I used to use, the company I order from doesn't have them anymore, so switch to these boxes and they hurt the heck out of my hands assembling them. All right, so we have gold tone, maybe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, gold tone. Nice gold tone chain, and then this crystal piece here. That's very pretty. It might even be like a Waterford. I'm not sure. I'll check into that, but that's beautiful crystal. <clears throat> oh, I'm excited about that bracelet. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, so we have some Murano art glass. It's very pretty. A gold tone chain. Huh. Now this has a little extender there. Let's make sure there's no markings here. Let me have a look. <coughs> Pardon me, my <coughs> my allergies are are kicking. 
All right, so there we go. Let's just go tone. Okay. Well, now this is, okay, run away. This is very cool. This is like an enameled over copper. Look at that. Signed on the bell? No, I'm seeing things as usual. This is so cool. This is vintage for sure. I don't like this chain for it, so I'll probably take this off. Um, I think that piece can sell by itself and let the, let the buyer decide what kind of chain to put it on, but I don't like it with the gold tone. But that's so cool. Super MCM. This says three-piece set. We like, a, we like a good set. Oh, and I can tell I'm going to love this one, too. I see pretty rhinestones. I think I get more excited about the vintage costume jewelry than I do about finding gold. Because, oh. How beautiful. Ooh. Oh, these are these are Givray. Givray stones. That's glass. These are glass um, stones. So you see that sort of like two-tone. That's called Givray. Oh, and even the little side stones are Givray. Oy. And it's super clean. Really great construction. Oh, and it's got a hang tag with no signature. Shame on you. Well, maybe the other pieces will have it, but look at that beautiful Givry, uh, Givry crystal or, or glass stones. Let's see if this one is signed new. If anybody recognizes it, throw the name out in the comments. Beautiful. So we have a parur. Parur, however you say it. Here's the back. The earrings. Beautimus, beautimus, beautimus. There we go. Yep, these are glass. Hear that? Glass, stone, perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't want this to end. And right now it doesn't look like it's going to. <laughs> All right. So this is one of those really long strands of beads, faceted crystal, sort of a very, very light lime green. Very light. And very pretty. <coughs> I always like grabbing these bags because I know they're going to be brooches. <laughs> Open bezel back. Kind of feels uranium. Those are super clear. Look how clear those are. And it definitely does have age, that pen sticking out. A little far, a little further than the modern. It might be signed on, it might be signed on the stem. I don't feel anything. I have to look at that one closer. It's it's so clear. Um, uh, it's in great shape. Oh, it says Hollycraft. This is going to be a pretty one. <clears throat> There's the Hollycraft mark. Nice, nice construction on the back. And then there we go. So we've got these sort of marcasite style rhinestones. Very cool. Ooh. These are some old riveted construction. Um 
very riveted construction. Oh, that's pretty. Might be Austrian. Very, very pretty. And everything is so clean and in great shape. And oh, I'm just beside myself on that because whew, every anytime I get anything from Goodwill, I have to like bleach it. So this is a goodie. The back is definitely rhodium plated. I feel it. Oh, and then there's the front. That's so nice. Really nice, clear stones and open bezel backs. Looks like maybe something should have gone here. Not sure. I'm going to set that aside and see <clears throat> if anything else comes out of here that looks like it might go with that. Let me back you guys out. i got to remember to, to do that. This is a heavy piece, a really big lobster claw. This is more modern. So these are little Rivoli stones. So you see that sort of um, pointy dome, that shape of a, of a rhinestone is called Rivoli. These are glass. I'm pretty sure they're glass. Either that or the setting is just that heavy. Let's look at the back. Not signed. I was almost expecting to see like a J. Crew or I'm not sure. This is very heavy and very nicely made. And it's not signed. I hate that. I wish people would sign their jewelry, but it can't always happen. So this is set. So we see earrings so far. Okay. This is a really good and uh, a really pretty, rather, um, statement piece. And it's super clean. I mean, again, so, so, so clean. Um, not signed, and we've got these little earrings to go with it. Some little oddities here. Okie dokie. Well, this is very cool. I don't know what its purpose is. Maybe. I don't know. Lord have mercy. I don't know, but I love it. It's so different and funky that we, we have to try that. We have to sell that. See a little cat? No. That's a dog. Hello. A dog and a cat. Oh, a big dog and a baby dog. And we're signed. It's definitely vintage, that's for sure. Avon. Let's look up close. Oh, yeah. So like a brother's playing older brother and little brother or father and son. Who knows? But that's so cute. Oh, Lord. Everybody remembers these for lipstick, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A lipstick mirror going on. That's exactly what it's for. Put your lipstick on, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, that's what they did in the 80s in the bathroom. They put their lipstick on. All right. That's cutesy. These are cute little clips. Ooh. These are heavy. Hmm. These are a really nice, heavy set. And very clean. Look at them a whirl. Now, this, oh, that's really pretty. 
I'm not convinced that this belongs here. I think this was a brooch or maybe even an earring. And this was attached, but that's okay. We're going to sell it like it is. I mean, that's an interesting piece. Okay, sets nine to five. All right, I'm not going to take everything out and get it all tangled. She's got it really nice. So it looks like some peridot pieces. Got some little enameled heart pieces. Crystals. Oh, this we can take. I'm going to look at it through the bag. It's a nice onyx. Sterling. Charms. Okay, so just assorted charms. Well, these are beautiful charms. This one, I know who this is. This will be listed on its own for sure. This little prayer box will be listed on its own. Yeah, we'll check each one of these. Sometimes I'll do little group lots with charms, but the unusual ones are definitely sold individually. That's uh, somebody pulling a wagon, it looks like. Yep. Super D duper. Frog, somebody will love that. This is a good piece. So, those will go in my test pile. It's like we have a, a necklace with some like dangly pieces. Can it be, can it be no brooches? So this guy was just hanging out right here. Let's have a look, see? Sometimes these can be silver. There's a little something hanging here. What purpose do you serve? Oh, there's the purpose. What do you say? Taj, T-A-I-T-A-J, I don't know. That's really pretty. I don't know if it'll be like a sterling with a gold um, vermeil. We'll, we'll set that aside and, and check it out. Oh, that's a vintage one. Definitely. Very rhodium plated. It says Pell. Yep, yeah, made by Pell. And you know, this is not in bad shape. Some of these, some of these, the pearls are too yellowed and missing. Not that one. It's like we got a Christmas brooch. This is the first one that we've seen. Oh, and it's pretty. Pretty, pretty. A lot of people are doing Christmas in July. Right. Ooh, she's pretty and so well made. Look at that. That's a really nicely made brooch and that copper in the back. There is a company that does this and I cannot remember their name, um, but this is a good brooch. All right. So this looks like Whiting and Davis right away. Could be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. And it, they're usually marked here, and they like to wear away with age. Sometimes marked on these sides. I'm fairly certain. So one of my dearest friends is a huge collector uh, and knows a lot about um, Whiting and Davis. So um, I'll have her look. But that beautiful repousse, look at that. This looks to be like a little worn there. I don't know what has happened there, but... Um, either way, it's still a great piece. Somebody can do something with it if it is um, uh, Wedding and Davis. This says pendants. Oh boy. Sterling pendants for days and days and days and days. Yep. Oh yeah. 
Of course, everything, it's like dichroic glass, so everything will be tested. Remember, just because something is stamped 925 doesn't mean that it is. Oh my gosh, this is the mother load of sterling. Another little prayer box, but this one is reticulated. That's so cool. And that's definitely sterling. Now, this one's really nice. Puffy scroll kind of style. And I don't think it opens, no. That's a beautiful one. And look at that. A little filigree egg. Sterling egg. A little pendant. That's cute. No, the little footsteps. That looks like there was a stone or something there, but that can still be sold for scrap. Now, this is interesting. This must open. Yeah. We know it's 925. I was trying to see what else that might say in there, but I'm not sure. But that's so cute. Cute little piece. Mm, 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 mm. I love this. This looks very Turkish in style. I don't know if it is going to be. Oh, I love that. Oh. A little dragonfly, a little sterling dragonfly, aren't you sweet? A little fig girl, that's so cute. So this looks, oh yeah, just, whoops. Yeah, this just needs to be clean. I thought there was some like previous enameling and there might've been, but I'll clean that up and it'll look fantastic. Some wings. And these are usually signed inside of the bell or in sometimes on the outside of. Very cool. So Jerusalem, we have a little locket. Sorum. That's interesting. Got a puffy heart. This one's very vintage. Got this. Oi! Oh my God, that scared me. It's little hairs in there. Oh, that was probably in one of these things. Oh, I'm sorry, but it has to go in the trash. That's Ross Simon, 925. This looks like Jaslene. And I believe that it is. I think that's her mark in there, but that's beautiful. All this will be cleaned up. Ooh. Oh. There is a marcasite down here. It looks like one has come out. So this is a marcasite locket. And I am going to put this marcasite in here so that I can fix it. That piece fixed. Um, so we've got these pieces, all very cute. I think this is Sopata. Yep, Sopata, that's their mark. Got that, super cute. Mmm, beautiful filigree heart. Oh, he's sweet. Little shark. My nephew thinks he's a shark. He's three. And he's so cute. All right, so these are the little birthstone children. 
These all sell into a lot. They're all sterling. I'm gonna leave them in their bag so I don't separate them. And they're actually super clean. I probably won't have to polish those. So we have some more little char uh, pendants. That's pretty. Some crosses. She has a lot of chains and that's great because I can attach them to some of these. These are good. That's vintage amber. Mm, we'll look at that one. We'll look at that one. That's an oldie. Very pretty. Stunning, stunning. Beautiful cross. Some garnets. That's gorgeous. I have some earrings that match these. And this is this is old. This is vintage. That's an old sterling mark. More sterling here. JWBR. Oh, that's good. Good, 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 good. Oh, I love that. Israeli silver and Hamza. Probably a natural pearl. And then these I thought were kind of special, so we'll look at them. Everything's special, don't get me wrong. But these really caught my eye. Yeah, so this is very deco and style. I'm not sure about an age. That looks like a sapphire. Um, yeah, I think it's just deco and style, but it's so very pretty. Oh yeah, you can see here, marked at the bottom, 925. And this caught my eye, look how cute. How different. Yeah, that's gonna be old silver. Nine two five. Very cool. Very, very cool. So it's got an adapter to be worn as a pendant. Super cool. And then because everybody loves a figure roll. Got a little bird in a bird cage, so cute. I'm not loving the way the back looks on here, but I will test this just to make sure. Oh, she's sweet. I hope she's sterling, cause she's sweet. Super cute. Mm. Important status up, shipping status update on board. All right. We have another brooch, beautiful one. I can't wait to turn it over. This drives you crazy, don't it? And I'll put that back in in a second. So definitely vintage, ooh. Ooh, are these those inverted ones? No, they're not. These are gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. Really very nice, and I'll put that pin back in. Do a few more, and we'll definitely be back for more parts. Three, four, five. Okay, Monet. This is early Monet. Yep, very early. Vintage Monet. So a mix of acrylic and lucite. These are definitely lucite. That's lucite. That's lucite. And they sound pretty. This is heavily rhodium plated, heavily. And where is a mark? Please be marked. Oh my word, look at that. All prong set. Look at that center stone, or the center rhinestone rather. Beautiful. What is that? 
I don't like sudden movements out of the corner of my eye in the south. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. If I see a critter in my house, I'm burning it down and running. This is beautiful. Wonder who that could be by. I'm gonna put that in my research pile. Love a good mystery. So we have a rose. Really pretty rose. Enameled, green enameling. Super, super. Okay. Psych. Nothing's in there. <laughs> Maybe that's where that little cuff came from. <laughs> that was funny. Let's see. We'll do a few more. Last time I couldn't quit. I said, okay, it's done. And then I kept pulling, kept pulling, kept pulling. But I can't help myself. We'll do a few more. Well, this is J. Crew. This is vintage J. Crew. Because J. Crew is using a lot of glass now. These are acrylic and very vintage in style. I'm I'm digging it. Too bad I didn't have that during the Barbie craze. My gosh. Grown women dressing like a Barbie. Hmm. Guess it's nostalgia, huh? So we have some silver tone elephant. Stretchy bracelet and earrings. Ooh, look, Christmas pouch here. What's going on? Mm. You see? You see what I see? Okay. I'm digging it already. Let's look at a tag. Lord, I cannot remember who that is either right now. Let's look. Ooh. I am digging this for sure. All compact, but a bougie compact. And it's in great shape. Beautiful, beautiful long piece. I love it. Love, love, love it. We have a couple of cuffs here. This one is like a silver with maybe a little gold tone mixed, very scratched. This is not any kind of precious metal, just base metal. And this one's all wrapped up. Oh, ooh. kind of riveted. I do believe this is a paparazzi piece. I don't sell paparazzi, paparazzi but that's cute. But here's one I do sell. Beautiful floral boost site. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. This is not baked light. Uh, definitely swirl loose site. Yep, it's loose site. Beautiful egg yolk. It kind of reminds me of egg drop soup. Oh boy. I got my work cut out for me again. Lots of sterling. And two, five, not tested. Oh, so she must have tested some of them. But even if she tested, I tested again. Every reseller does that. Every Everyone. Even when I buy something from someone that they say is sterling. Even somebody that I know, I still test it. Well, these are pretty. I can tell you right now, these are definitely going to be silver. Um, you can kind of spot the plated stuff and these stones are really nice to um, just be plated silver we'll test them we've got these ones these guys here these are some bands some ring bands so sorted variety These are pretty, pretty gemstone rings or a gemstone ring. 
beautiful. And I can tell you these are going to be silver. Yep, that's a good mark. That's a good mark. Mmm, that one's vintage. I love that. That might actually be a diamond. Eh, it's a little clear. I don't know. It might be a diamond, but it's definitely vintage. Yeah, it's got the old 925 mark. Oh, yeah, these are good. Very good. Oh, that's cute. That's from a school, so that's probably definitely sterling. I believe that's from a school. Like a school ring. Okay, let's find a couple little more things. And I'll take a break. And we will come back and pick up where I left off. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just grabbing whatever looks interesting, whatever peeks, peeks my eye. Let's see what it's going to be. Oh, I have one of these in auction for this week. That's so funny. Enameling on the front. Is it green? I have one identical to this right now in auction. That's so funny. Now, these are beautiful 1980s. We'll definitely sell that. That's funny. Another consigner had one. I think if you guys, the video before, two or three videos before this one, depending on, uh, depending on the way I post them, you'll see that in someone else's video also. Oh my, this is gorgeous. Doesn't have its safety chain, but that's okay. Those are beautiful, thick, thick, clear quality rhinestones and a beautiful closure. And it's signed Weiss. Not surprised at all. Definitely not surprised. I will buff all that out, make it look showroom new, but look at those rhinestones, my gosh. I'm really impressed with that. Oi, another piece attached to it. I'm really impressed with that one. And we've got this guy. Again, more beautiful rhinestones. Super, super clear. I love them. Feels very rhodium on the back, very rhodium plated. That's really good construction. It kind of reminds me of that dimensional brooch that I need to identify. It's very well made. If you guys can see that quality, but it's beautiful. It's too much beautiful. Let's see. Not seeing a mark there. This is vintage, but not super, super vintage. But it's not modern. But beautiful rhinestones, very clear and very well made. Nice construction. And then we have some little earrings here that I'm not going to take out. Um, they could be sterling. They could be costume. But see how nice she packaged all that. And please don't worry. And you don't let this make you think that you need to package the same way. Uh, a lot of people, they don't know what they have. So just send it any which way that you're comfortable. Okay, so I'm gonna do these and then I'm really gonna quit. So I don't want this to get super, super long, but I know you guys do enjoy the longer videos. So I try to do them when I can. Right now I'm swamped the hurricane and the no power for eight days has really got me behind. Okay, this is beautiful. So gold tone, and then we have this beautiful enameling and another one that's not signed. I hate that. Doesn't matter though, I'm gonna give it a try because it's beautiful and very well made. 
Oh, perfect way to end. We'll end with these brooches. We'll go from there and take a break and come back. Coral. All right. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Yep, there's our mark. Yeah, little cameo style carved oocytes. This looks very Crown Trafari on the back. Well, that's because it is. See that crown above the T? That's Crown Trafari. And then here's the front. Ooh. And this is in fine shape. Look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So happy, so happy. Really pretty there. This one is more modern but it's in great shape and it's pretty. It's, oh, so what's going on here? Oh, so this looks like it can be both a, yeah, so it's a brooch and has that adapter to be a pendant. So I'm not seeing a signature. So it's just like a classic, like rosy gold tone. Very cool. That's cool, definitely has some age. Well, that's cute. Very dainty, classy. Dainty and classy. Oh no, that's pretty. Got that solitaire rhinestone. And we're signed, what do we say? Napier? To play, to plaza, however you say it. Castle Cliff, all right. That's a nice piece and it's in such good shape. I have so far, even the things I've opened off camera and even the things that are going to be in lots, Nothing has been like damaged or badly damaged or, you know, just and just a bad piece. Everything has been, you know, of the best quality and well taken care of. I don't know for how long she's been hunting and gathering. Oh, this is pretty. But I'm so impressed with the condition. Well, that's pretty. A little figural cactus is a little bit vintage. Just a little bit. But that's cool, and it's got those, you know, spiky relief points sticking out. Very cool. All right, we're going to stop there. I have enough to do at least two or three more videos. So um, we'll pause here, and I will come back with part three. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you are interested in working with me um, and having me consign your jewelry, please reach out. My email address is linked in the description box. And again, if you are interested in purchasing something that you've seen, remember, I do not sell here on YouTube yet. Um, so if you see something that you like, keep your eye on my auction and the link to my auction, which is held on high bid, um, is also in the description box below. I look forward to next time. Thank you so much for being here and so much for watching. Have a great night.